Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I am Sculptasia, but you might know that already. If not, that's fine. I'll get over it. Today we are doing Mariah Elizabeth's Create This Book number one, episode seven. Have you cringed enough? My hair just fell. Have you cringed enough? I think you have. Let's just get into the video. Let's go. Shh. Shh. Here we go. Oh, I hope you didn't hear my stomach just growl. Let's just say you didn't. Flipping through, getting some references. I want to do some realism today, so that's what we're going to do. Now I gotta find what I'm going to do. I fell on this page. Secret, secret. Well, I didn't fall on it, but I, I'm here and I'm doing it. I don't know. So it's create a secret, and a secret that I tend to hide from a lot of people, but I'm opening up about now is OCD. Now, OCD is not what you think it is. And that's okay. Movies and TV shows don't really talk about it in the way that it should be talked about. They just kind of simplify it extremely and just say, oh, you just like being organized or you just like to clean a lot. And on the surface level, that is correct. But honestly, I, I do like being clean, but I don't really care too much about it being clean as long as it's in the right place and it feels right. H hold on, we're just gonna stop and talk about this hand that I'm trying to draw. What? What is, <laughs> what is that? Okay, I'm just giving you guys an oversimplified uh, comic strip here because clearly I'm not taking um, any consideration into beautiful art, I would say. But it's okay, I'm just trying to get the story across. Okay, so this is just a little example of OCD that I go through very, very often. Yes, this is the bad hand that I went with. I'm just gonna deal with it and so are you. It's not bad. So, this is a foot. I am coloring the foot blue. In this story, the foot accidentally kicks a shoe. Yes, that is a shoe, it's a, it's a sandal. It kicks the shoe, makes a bonk, it goes that direction, and then I go and grab it and I bring it back. And as I'm bringing it back, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, until it feels like it's in the right spot. That is what an OCD symptom is, is you keep moving an object in the same exact spot, but slightly smaller until it feels right. And the feeling of right just depends on the person, really. All right, let's get into that realism I was talking about earlier. Yeah, we're gonna do that using Ohuhu sketchbook, Ohuhu markers. I'm just gonna draw what size the book is and then cut it out later, but I know where to draw so I don't, you know, overdraw and then it doesn't even fit. Just getting out my Ohuhu markers. This kitty loves the spotlight, I am telling you. So the reason I went for an eye for this, well, you know, it's a very common realistic thing to do, but that's not the reason I did it. I tend to look at things a lot, like random things, so often and for a random amount of time until it just, again, feels right. And if you have no idea how to relate to anything that I'm saying, that is totally fine. OCD is not common. It's only 2.3% like, of 8 billion people that have it. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that is totally fine. That makes perfect sense. The math checks out. That is okay. I just want to spread more awareness about it and like let you guys know that it is not what movies and shows make it out to be. Like they're obsessed with keeping things organized and obsessed with keeping things clean. Like I could honestly care less if it's clean as long as it's in the right spot. I'm sorry if I sound sick, that's because I am a little sick and snuffly, so that, that's my bad, my bad. I'm trying to catch it and just redo it, but it just keeps slipping in there and I'm sorry. So anyways, on to the eye. Let's talk about the eye. I haven't really said anything of how I'm doing anything, and if you wanted to know a step-by-step, -step, I'm sorry. In the future, I can definitely do a step-by-step -step tutorial but I kind of got distracted with the story and wanted to make sure you guys knew about the story so that I could actually tie it in with the prompt. And I'm definitely using more than just Ohuhu markers. Yes, they are the star of the show, but I'm also using pencils 
and microns. As you probably noticed, microns I used for the eyelashes and the crease in the eyelid. I kind of just went with anything that I thought would work. This is like my first realistic eye, as you can tell by the eyelashes not looking amazing. But you know what? I thought it was pretty good. Also, my eye, like, air, air, no, what's the term? The, the color of the eye, the brown part, yeah. I didn't make that as perfect as a circle as I would like to, but in the future, I will definitely aim to do better. But you know, I can't be too hard on myself. It's pretty good for like my first time, so. I will be grateful for my OCD for helping me pay attention more to small details. Because the more I stare at things, the more I notice, like, the different lightings and the different spots of things and, like, the different just details and things that I probably wouldn't even have noticed. And that's good, I think. Yeah. Just adding some highlights now to really make this piece come together. I love adding highlights because it just, it just makes it look more realistic. Like, if you have an art piece that you want to be realistic, but it's not quite there, add the highlights. The highlights are there, so you should definitely include them. Light's gotta be reflecting off of something. I like my little finger dabbing technique I'm doing, but you can't really see it because it's blurry right now and my fingers are in the way. Like, what are you even looking at? What cinematography is this? But I signed it and it looks like a cute little tattoo. Now I'm just gonna glue it. You gotta glue that shish kebab into the book so it stays there, okay? And look at it. Now I gotta mod podge it so it stays even better because <clears throat> the sick is coming out. I'm sorry. Because it might just pop off. I'm saying it right now. The mod podge without it, it's just gonna not stay well. So you should definitely do that. Look how vibrant it is with the mod podge. It looks like a sealed a book. Very pleased with how this turned out. Again, I kicked a shoe, I moved a shoe, move it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it feels right. That's just a common symptom, but it's okay. Is that even a symptom? No, I don't, I don't think it's a symptom. It's just something you do. But we're on to the next prompt, and that is create a fancy name, and you already know it. You already know. I'm writing Sculptasia, but I ran out of room, but it's okay. I'm creative. And I'm doing Sculptasia again on the other page because I'm going to do it in a different way. This one, I decided to do one of those little little craft things where you think of uh, the letters and, you know, other words that start with those letters that represent you. Yeah, well, I had to postpone that and then work on the other thing because I could not think of words. Like, have you tried thinking of words before? Why am I Southern now? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm laying it on way too thick. Just kept coloring this in while thinking of other words, which I did eventually do, but I'm still gonna be on this girl right here. She is not done. She's reminding me of the princess, um, princess, uh, wow, I don't have a large vocabulary. Um, it's from Adventure Time. The, you guys are gonna hate me. Tell me in the comments what the princess is from Adventure Time that looks like a blob. Is it Princess Blob? No way, it can't be. <laughs> Either way, reminds me of that. Let me know. Um, yeah, just outlining it and why I really like how it is. It's pretty simple, but you know what? It's pretty cute too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving on back. We are here. I came up with the other words. Silly, creative, unusual, loopy, peppy, true, uh, awesome, sassy, imagine, and aim high. Honestly, I do like those words. And I just kind of skipped to the end where I colored and doodled a little bit to represent them but here they are it looks great i i love it and then i have this page here that i never filled in because i really don't love this page like what am i supposed to do on this page what am i i don't know it's a check mark i checked it um i'm gonna leave that here's this page i love it going back to the eyeball page which stuck together i will tell you look at that almost cost me a few hours um yeah. Follow my socials. Um, <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the art as I do. And I'll see you guys next time, which I just said, I think. But yeah, bye. Oh, my knee cracked.